Welcome to a MainlyDIY.com video. Hi, today I'm going to make a little gnome and I'm going to start with some quilting batting that's wool and uh, the fibers kind of run in this direction so I'm going to cut a strip that's let's see how big that is yeah. it's about three inches I'm not being real real precise with it and I'm just going to cut the whole length of it On the length of my batting. So I'm going to take it and fold it in half and then I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm going to take this one. This one I got a little bit narrower but uh, works just fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from one end and I'm going to kind of cut it diagonally down to a point on the other end. So So I've got uh, one of these uh, rough, very long triangles, and I'm going to start with that. I'm going to start the wide end, and I'm going to kind of roll it up. Okay. So I've kind of got it rolled up, so I am going to take my needle. my felting needle, very sharp, so you want to be very careful with these. Um, they have barbs down here. Uh, let's see if I can get that in focus. It has barbs on that. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but they're very sharp, so I like keeping my hand up here on, on this L shape. Um, so where, where my um, batting ended, I'm going to poke it right up and down and you really do need to be careful of your needle and poke it straight up and down. It's also good to have a surface to work on. So I have uh, one of these boards by Clover for needle felting and you can also you just use a piece of like uh, foam cushion um, that I have here but I am going to use uh, the brush surface just because I have it either one works fine though and I am going to just kind of poke the ends down uh, just to kind of hold it together and then I'm going to turn it up on end and I'm going to kind of grab that end and what I'm going for here is an egg shape I'm just poking it together enough to kind of have it hold its shape. And again, you want to keep your non-poking hand away from the needle. And just take your time. Turn it up on the other end, and I'm going to do the same thing. And I should be poking down vertically because I don't want to break my needle. I have broken a couple now when I'm starting out. So, um, so here I have a, kind of a rough egg shape, and that is going to be the head and the, the whole works for my little gnome gentleman. And then I'm going to take some wool roving. Um, this is made for needle felting, and I've got a color that's a. Um, very pale peachy color so it's going to be his face color and I've cut a piece off that is roughly three inches long and I've kind of stretched it out and flattened it out so um, and I actually don't need that whole whole piece so I am going to take it and then divide it down this way okay I'm going to set one piece of it aside and then then I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to uh, divide it in half again, and then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to cut it in half. Okay. So 
So I've got three little pieces of of this um, needle felting wall and so I am taking just a little skewer and I'm going to roll and kind of bunch that up so it's a little bit tighter and then I'm going to kind of roll and I'm kind of pulling my fibers kind of tight and what I am making is the nose for my gnome. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my skewer out and then I am going to just uh, where that part ended is actually going to be my back side but I'm going to poke it a couple of times just to kind of help it hold down. There we go. So I'm going to take my little face and I'm going to say my nose is going right there so um, the top of it, I'm going to take this little tuff and kind of round that over to the back side and uh, kind of poke that in so we won't have as much uh, fluff hanging out there. And the bottom I'm not so worried about because I'm going to tuck that up underneath after I get poking it. So I'm going to place that kind of in the, the center of my little head and I am just going to I'm not going to poke down too much on the, the head of it I'm kind of poking in the sides so I did that side and then I'm going to turn him and then I'm going to poke this side so let's zoom in a little bit So I am just kind of poking along the side to just kind of anchor him against the rest of his face. And I'm going to do some more poking a little bit later. And then I'm going to take this end, and this is going to be the nostril end of his nose. I'm just going to kind of poke in this excess of the peach without getting too much of the white. So I'm going to kind of uh, poke up a nostril. And you do want to be careful to go vertical with your needle, and I wasn't doing that as much as I should. Um, and poke that up under the nostril, see, and you've got to watch where your fingers are so you don't poke. I didn't actually hit myself, but I came close. Okay. So here I have my nose. So I'm going to take one of those other two peach uh, items I had and I'm going to move my kitty away. So I'm going to take one of my other uh, two little pieces of peach that I had and I'm going to roll them on the skewer um, and then I'm going to take them and kind of fold them on each other. So I'm trying to make a little ball here. These are going to be cheeks. So I am going to... Uh, carefully put this on my piece and I'm, this is going to be the back side of my cheek but I just kind of want to hold it together a little bit okay. so then I'm going to take that cheek and I'm going to place it right there on my face and then I'm going to um, punch that in to my base. And merge it right up against the, the nose. And then I'm going to take and do the same thing with the other little piece that I cut. So I'm rolling it on my skewer and then I'm kind of uh, rolling it around myself itself rather to make a little ball 
and I'm going to poke it on my, try to poke my ends here, uh, just to kind of stabilize it a little bit. Again, being real careful about where my fingers are versus where the needle is. Because it's more than just the point of the needle. It's got barbs on the side, so you really don't want to get too close to it. So just enough to get it a little bit shaped. And then I'm going to uh, shape it some more with my fingers. And put it on the other side of his nose. And then I'm going to punch that down as well. So um, there's my nose and my two cheeks, and then I'm going to take the the other half that I had fanned out kind of thin, and I'm going to lay that right over his whole face. It doesn't have to cover my whole ball, but I'm just going to poke in the edges to keep it in place while I do the rest of it. And you should not do this very fast. You should go really slow so that you're really conscious of where that needle is. So now I've got my uh, peach tacked on and I'm going to um, kind of take my fingers and poke around to find out where that nose is. And I'm, I'm going between the nose and the cheek. And what I'm really going for here is to define between the nose and the cheeks first. And again, be conscious of how deep you're poking so that you don't poke down through to get your finger. Okay, And then I'm going to um, take one cheek and kind of spread my material over around it. And I'm going to go around that cheek. So I'm, I'm pleased with how my cheeks are appearing and so now I'm going to come down his nose and then uh, kind of push up underneath to do his nostril. So I'm ha happy with that part of the shape. So now I am going to um, actually I'm going to uh, give him a little coat. So I have this uh, dark blue that I'm going to um, do my coat in. I'm just going to unwrap that. Um, this piece here is about five inches long. Probably don't need quite that much. Um, I think I've got it all unrowed. Okay, so I am going to um, separate a piece off of that on on one side. So maybe I took a third of it and pinched it off. Then I'm going to take the piece that I the bigger piece I have left, and I'm going to kind of spread that out. So then I'm going to take my little guy, and I'm going to wrap this around his body. And I'm, I'm going to have the solid piece in the back and the seam in the front because it's going to get covered up in the front. And I'm, I'm going to take this edge, which seems to be straighter, and put that um, along his back side of him. And I'm going to kind of stretch it in around his cheeks. Um, and, and I will poke it down. So I am going to poke it down around his cheeks here. Bringing it up a little bit. Poke this under his nose. I'll take this side and do the same thing. So I'm kind of poking it up next to his cheek and just under his cheek. 
And then I'm just going to kind of merge those two together. And then uh, I am going to um, just kind of cover my ball, stretch it out to color cover the lower half of him. And I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim off this excess. And then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to uh, work this in to kind of close this up and I'm keeping the integrity of my egg shape. Okay, so I'm not too concerned about the way he looks there because that's going to be covered up too. But I am going to go around this rim and just do um, some little punches just to give it a little bit more stabilization all the way around. Okay, so I've got the bottom of him covered. Um, a little bit thin there, so I'm going to uh, just pull that together. Maybe I'll take a little bit of my excess and, and pull that apart and just work just a little bit more fuzz in there to kind of cover up that bare spot. And it will work in, you just need to poke it a few times. And then you can kind of smooth it out with your finger so that it doesn't look real obvious of what you did there. And then I'm going to take this other, this um, one third piece of my blue that I went around it with and um, actually can spread that out a little bit more. I'm going to make arms for him, so I'm going to um, I'm going to pinch out probably about five inches. It might be a little bit more than I need, but and uh, so I mean, I'm going to take my little skewer again, and uh, I'm, so I'm kind of bunching this together. I take my skewer and I'm going to uh, wrap it, but I'm going to kind of go at an angle, kind of tight here. I have to slide it off my needle a little bit as I go because it's not very long. So. so this is how I got that arm shape. I took my blue that I cut and I twisted it around the skewer like this, only tight all the way around, and it was a longer piece than this, so I had to slide some off. Took a little bit of this light blue and put a piece in the middle. And then I started uh, connecting it on the back side and then kind of tucking it underneath to kind of make a defined line of the light blue against the dark. Okay. And then this is um, a lot looser than I wanted. I want it more twisted, so I'm going to kind of twist that up by hand. And I'm going to um, take my needle and do a little bit of poking to. Um, put it together because like I say I want more of a tube than uh, what I what I came out with. Okay and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I've got that the worm satisfied and again these are going to be the arms and this is his hands coming together so I'm going to pick um, probably right about there for his arms and I am going to come up to the end and I'm going to poke that end in first and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and you see I've got a lot of extra fluff on this edge so I'm just going to clip that off. So then I'm going to um, start working his arms 
into his body. Here in his mitten is a really great place to work it down tight. And then I am going to mark where the center of his hands, where his hands come together uh, by punching down there. And then I will uh, punch this side of his mitten. So then I'm going to take and I'm going to uh, just poke along the edge of his arm. I'm doing the bottom on this side first. Just to adhere it to the rest of his uh, little jacket or body, whichever way you want to look at it. I'll come up here around the top and poke that in a little better. And then I'll go from the top and uh, do my best to make that look like a little tube for his arms. Kind of using my needle to shape the design of my little guy. So um, I think I'm happy with how that looks. So next I am going to make him a pair of shoes. And you can use brown or black or um, you know a dark brown like this or black. And I have um, I cut a piece, let's see how, about how long that That was about five inches long of my robing. And then I cut it in half, or I split it in half the short way. So I have this piece. Uh, this was left from another one. I've got my piece of bread. So I've got him twisted up a little bit. And I've, I'm going to say about there is the middle. And I'm going to take this in and I'm going to twist it in. I'm going to take my needle and poke that down. And then I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring this end to the middle. And poke that down. I'm going to spend a little bit of time. I'm kind of shaping a little bit of a heart shape, but it's going to, these parts are the boots, the tops of the heart. Um, so I'm just going to take a little bit of time to uh, make them look uh, more tubular. So I've kind of got a, a rough shaped heart here, and, and these are going to be his feet. So I'm going to kind of I'll pull that away from my piece there. And I'm going to uh, put this right on the bottom of him, and I want his little feet to stick out. So I am going to um, give a little poke right down the middle first. And then I'm going to work on um, shaping those as, as little feet for him. Kind of coming around the outside of it now. Tucking in the brown where I need to. And again, you should poke up and down. I know I wasn't doing that as well as I should have, but um, going up and down works a lot better. So this is going to be his bottom, so you're really um, almost making a flat space here. And then uh, you can flip him up and can put him on here and kind of um, shape his shoes a little bit. Just use your needle to um, get a little boot shape coming out for his little feet. And, uh, when I pull it off of this board, it kind of sticks, so then I have to go back and, and poke it a little bit. And um, the object is to get him so that he can stand up kind of on his own, so um, I think I did that there. So now we're going to move on to his eyes, and I'm going to use just a little bit of that brown again. Um, I'm going to cut off about an inch, maybe a, th a third of the material, about an inch, and then I'm going to um, split that in half. And I'm going to um, roll this into a little ball. It helps if you wet it. Um, I'm trying to make a tight little ball out of that. Okay, so I got a, a fairly tight little ball out of one, and I'm going to poke it on there for his eyeball. Okay. 
coming right up next to his cheek and I'm really going to do a lot of poking because I don't want his eyeball quite as big as I have it so you um, you can resize it by poking it down a lot more Then I'm going to do the other eyeball. Um, so again, I'm just going to take my little bit of fuzz and roll it out. Uh, put it where I want it. And uh, start poking it down and not my other finger. I'm trying to get a round shape, um, but also make it a little bit smaller and really poke it into him. Okay. And then I'm going to take just a tiny, tiny bit of my white batting. Just a tiny little speck, and I'm going to split that speck in two. And what I'm doing is I'm going to make the highlight for his eyeball. So I'm um, just going to try to twist that up into a little knot. And again, get that into a little piece. Put that right where I think it ought to go in his eye. And I still think that piece is too big, so I'm actually going to take my scissors cut it in half. Maybe that other piece will be for his other eye. We'll see. Um, and I'm really going to work on poking that right down in the middle of his eye. Trying to um, make it even smaller than it is. So you can really uh, make it quite small. And I'm going to take that other piece I had left and I'm going to do the same thing with it. That piece that I cut in half. So you just keep working those until you're happy with his eyeballs. And then I'm going to take some, um, this is a little bit of um, curly uh, roving, so I'm going to uh, try to unknot a little piece of that to cut off. Um, and I am going to make him a little beard. And like I said, I like the curl on that, so I am going to... Um, Let's take my bigger piece that I cut and uh, work with that first. And uh, so we're just going to uh, work on getting a pleasing uh, little set of whiskers here for our, our little guy. So kind of, I want to come up the side of his face, um, kind of right up to his where his arm joins. So I'm gonna uh, work on poking that in, kind of up under his cheek here. Kind of taking these really loose fibers here. This. See, they're really uh, loose here and kind of poking them in here uh, where I wanted to be and then I'll needle punch them down. You know, a few stray ones is good, but not too many. with how I've got that done.
for his little beard. And then I'm going to take uh, this light blue and I'm going to make him a hat out of it. So I'm kind of wrapping it around his head to see how much I need. And um, you can cut it a little bit short because you're going to stretch it out some. So I'm going to cut that off. And uh, I'm going to stretch it out some so it's not uh, so tight. And... Um, so we're going to have the joint go in the back. Um, so I do want kind of a clean line or, or clean edge here. So I think I'm actually going to um, punch that down a little bit. Just um, this is going to be where the brim of his hat is. And I kind of want a more firm line down there. So um, I can do that once it's on him. But I'm going to start like that. There we go. Okay. So then I'm going to wrap this around his head and I'm going to start, um, going to go ahead and do the punching around over his eyes uh, first to kind of hold it down. And I will wrap it around to the back side and like I said I can stretch it a little bit. So again, I'm going to uh, go ahead and punch all the way around that rim area. Okay, and then where he comes together in the back, I am just going to... Uh, now lay it over each other and um, go ahead and punch those together. Just kind of work those fibers right together. And before I get too far, um, I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess up here. I want my hat to kind of have a point, but I'm just going to trim that piece off. And uh, and then I'm going to start working shaping this to a point. So I'm going to start from the back side first. And I want to make sure I get his whole uh, coat covered up, you know, um, on his body. So I'm doing that first here, dragging it down and making sure that gets all covered up the way it should be. And, you know, if I'm a little shy of fiber, I can take a little bit of my excess and just put it in there and work it right in. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and So like I said, I kind of wanted a point, so I pulled a piece off. And I'm just going to kind of felt this together, um, working it towards a point here. I pick him up, maybe uh, twist this together just a little bit, and work from the front side a little bit. Now. I'm going to pick him up, do a little bit of hand shaping. Okay, he's a little bit happier with that point. And then I'm going to take him and I'm just going to pull it and I'm going to twist it and make a little curl in it. So I'm going to use my needle to um, help it hold its shape. So I kind of just decided on what shape I wanted. And so this piece needs to come in quite a bit. And then this piece will come out. Okay. So I've got his hat kind of a pleasing shape. So I'm going to let him sit there for just a few minutes to, to help hold that shape. 
to here's another little guy I uh, made the, the same technique just different colors and there you go there's my nose